Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and today I will show you guys five different ways in which you can hide your apps on iPhone and iPad as well. Now, before we get into the video, I just want to ask you guys for a huge favor. Now, I've noticed here that most people watching these videos on my channel are actually not yet subscribed to the channel. So if you're not subscribed to the channel, please make sure you hit the subscribe button. It really helps out a lot. And now let's get started and let me show you guys the first and the easiest way, of course, to hide any app that you want from your iPhone or iPad. Now, of course, is the easiest way but it's not that safe because of course if someone gets your iphone they will be able to easier find these apps is to hide them from the home screen by simply removing them and hiding them into the app library so simply removing these apps from the home screen of your device of course they will disappear here the icon won't show anywhere but of course you will still be able to find the app on the app library but if you just want to hide it from the side here that's the way you can do it now the second way is of course to completely hide a page of apps so if you just want to you don't want to remove all the apps and move them to the app library you want to hide the page you can do that by disabling it from here so you hide the page completely and of course all the apps are gone anytime you need those apps back you can just simply tap right there enable the page and get the apps back now the third and the most efficient way is to hide them using screen time now using screen time you will have to basically use a few settings here in order to hide the apps that you want so first of all make sure you have screen time turned on so let me just turn this on right here now what you need to do to hide apps is go to content and privacy restrictions if you go here you enable content and privacy restrictions you will have allowed apps now when you go here you will have only a few apps which you will be able to actually disable so you can see i have safari and mail right here i can go ahead and simply disable them and they won't be able of course to be here on the home screen anymore no one will be able to use them and of course you will have to have the password to fit the actually screen time in order to re-enable those apps and i can do that for facetime for the camera app and of course for the health fitness and all the other apps here from apple you can also disable airdrop and carplay as well but there's another way and that's using a restrictions based on age now most of the apps the social media apps if you want to hide them they require basically they don't have like an age limit so if you just go ahead and go to content restrictions right here enter your passcode what you will see here is a section that says apps if you go here and just select plus four you will see that all the apps that i have here all the social media apps are now gone they will be removed from the iphone and of course you won't be able to actually even find them right here on the app library or nowhere on ios the other way to do this is when you hide an app let's say you hide it from the home screen put it on the app library someone can just search for that app and find the app easily even without having to go to the app library but there's also another way you can hide app or even hide content from that app you go to settings you go to siri and search and you will see right here a list of your apps so if i go to any of these apps and disable learn from this app show in app search right there show on home screen suggest apps and suggests and notifications now you won't be able to actually find any content from this app from the spotlight search you can search anything you can search the name of the app you won't be able to actually find the app at all and the last method is actually uploading the app now uploading the app will completely remove the app from your device but you will still have the data there so anytime you need the app you can go ahead and install it right away on your device and you will get all the things that you had back on your device of course this is maybe not a very useful and of course not very convenient but if you just need to do this you can do this this way so you go to settings you go to, to your general settings you go to iphone storage and right here will have a list of all of your apps but let's just wait for this to load here now once you get the list of apps here all you have to do is just go ahead and go to the app you want to upload and just tap right here upload app that way you have that app deleted from your device it won't show anywhere but you still have all the data saved so anytime you reinstall back the app from the app store you will get back everything you had so that's basically for this video guys hope you guys enjoyed the video go ahead and leave a like if you did also don't forget to subscribe for more videos and i'll see you on the next one